Eme Fiele threatens Senate President Apabio. The former Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emefili has threatened to take legal action against Senate President Goswell Abu for alleges for what he alleges as defamation. Abu speaking as Senator Barry Nada in Piggy's Thanksgiving service in Koroma, Thai local government area, River State, on February 18th made remarks suggesting that Timmy Phillips administration had contributed to Nigeria's economic challenges under President Bola Tunubu. In response, Timmy Phillips, through his legal representative, Martin Boka San, issued a letter to Akwabi demanding a written apology published in the media office lawsuit. In the letter dated February 19, Timmy Phillips asserted that Akwabi's comment portrayed him as the cause of Nigeria's hardship, which he deemed defamatory and damaging. I may fairly emphasize the sensitivity of the matter or as it could prejudice his ongoing trial and her call to respect for the court's independence. Moreover, I may fairly criticize Akwabi for contributing Nigeria's economy was solely to him, highlighting Akwabi's pastures and his own limited autonomy in decision-making during his own tenure. Emifele urged Abadio to retract his statement and issue a public apology, warning of legal action if he failed to comply. The former CBN governor legal team demanded a non resolved apology and compensation of 25 billion naira for their larger defamation, signaling their readiness to seek redress through legal channels. If you actually have been following, it is true that Abadio came out that is the Senate president, and he will say some things about the Senate president. The thing is, Natif, they know a fellow thief. Let me talk. We did not talk. Natif, they know a fellow thief. That is just it. The Akbabi, the way they talk, guilty. They may feel the way they talk, guilty. You see that adage that goes, a good name is better than riches. For now, our Nigeria here, our Nigerian politicians just think, see, na, na, just normal talk. It does not mean anything. They don't value it. Today, if we were to remember a mutually, how is it going to be remembered? The same, the same thing with Apabio. Two of them, because if you stand the two of them, no, no, as in nothing, nothing different. Emifile did what he did as the governor of CBN at his time. And of course, it's, it, it, the ripple effect is what is getting today. Akwabio, for in mind, in the free, not in Duam. Meanwhile, we know, say, he get case where he gets before. We know that there's actually a case he has. And apart from that, it is during his time that there was, there was when there is a financial lack giant. Imagine make we get a lack giant. Hmm? Nahim Akwabi, when he is the Senate president of this, is it the 10th Assembly? Yes, I think the 10th Assembly. He allowed such money to be wasted so that they buy luxury cars for Senate members, <laughs> for Senate House members. So tell me if you put two of them side by side, and if they don't get right to point to Akwabi, Akwabi as in the two of them, or he said that they don't get right to point at each other, or they get equal rights. Mm, to point at themselves. So yeah, like I said, natif, you know, if you thief. Anybody we call politician will come we call say this person natif or natif still they know in fellow thief. Come to think about it. May reason the matter, make a reason aware. See uh, what did they call Emefeli. We all know that time what Emefeli did now. We are all aware. Emefele was the first CBN governor that while you are in six, you get in mind, you come aside, say you won't run for presidency. So you, you, your liver, my oh goodness, your liver is livering. The fearless way you drink, eh? you drink and wear. You drink and wear. He give you, he give you better liver. But today, then they drag you up and down. I don't know those in government too who are actually in his shoes doing the same thing, those in ministries. You don't have to be a CBN governor. 
I don't know what is so difficult for people to do what they are, what they are paid for. Imagine that you come into a particular system because it's a government system. That is why these days people prefer um, private organizations. I'm telling you. Private organizations know that it is their integrity that is going to be a stick. Eh? Imagine you were employed for a job in the public, uh, what's it called, government. And then you also, uh, what's it called, you also employed two of them. One person was employed in the government, one person was. The person that was employed in the private sector, see, over time, the person does not have any choice. The person will have to get better. This thing what they tell you is not true. Because there is no room for mediocrity. There is no room for mediocrity or pala pala behavior. In the private sector, if you just do them, they will just fling you aside. Insanity from a banker who has no remorse of what he did to the country at all. Where you leave the cause of the sickness and the treating another thing, the sickness would not go. The CBN have autonomy. Whom do you suppose to blame is a Mayfield the president. Mayfield works best on instruction, but now Buhari is supposed to be arrested by now. Can you imagine if not for a rotten judiciary? How can they confirm things like Amy Philly be speaking through a lawyer chattered with proceeds of crime? In China, both Amy Philly, the lawyer, the beneficiaries of his financial recklessness, including his family, would have been executed via electric care by now. But here in Nigeria, the criminals define the direction of policy. It is implementation or otherwise. This lawyer's name should be published for Nigerians to see and take position on such characters. See? My own, uh, the two of them, the two of them get the same sickness. That is my own. You cannot come outside and see Amy Philly. I know the two of them. The difference is Amy Philly don't finish in tenure. Akpabi is still there inside. But the one Akpabi don't do, believe you me, eh? he hit us past the one Amy Philly do. To, to be very sincere. How they tell you? How do you fold your arms and buy car, luxury cars, eh? Of how many, how many million for, for onto waiting? Person with luxury car, they, they hungry. You know, be saying, go, go market, go buy. You just like, you be woman, you, you, you sit down for us. Maybe soup can the hungry, one particular kind of soup. Money day for your hand. Now you day your hand, you, you won't eat that soup, you day your hand. No, for you to go market, go buy with you, you won't eat. Cook them, abi, eat them. Eh? So why? Eh? You can't say, instead of you to go to the market, you can't disturb another person. You can't disturb another person, you know. So make the person, and you don't even use better talk, better a uh, voice. So the two, me, the two of them, they're guilty. Today, they're both of them. He immediately has the right to call out Akwabio. Akwabio also have the right to call out. But the thing is, yes, because Akwabio is still in this tenure. He will use his immunity to use it and tackle the mission. But to, to me, both of them are the same thing. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.